What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> You loaded up with the best bait on the West End. Best bait on the West End. Best bait on the West End. We're here with Donnie at Bait Daddy's. So what's going on this weekend, Donnie? I mean, we got it going on, I think. I think it's going to be a real, real good weekend. Uh, low wind, no clouds. It's going to be a nice weekend. I think everybody should get out and, and get on the water and fish, do what you can, you know. So come check them out. You know, typically live bait, what do you carry? We're going to have croaker, we'll have shrimp, we'll have finger mullet. Um, not seeing too many peaky perch right now, uh, but we'll have those three, croaker, mullet, and shrimp. Um, got plenty of dead bait options, so if you're out and about and you want to get some good bait, come check us out. We'll get you hooked up and get you going. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? You know, we are out here, beautiful Galveston, right before sunrise, and uh, we're gonna go weight fishing, do a little bit of weight fishing. I just stopped at Bait Daddy's, and I uh, picked up some awesome, awesome bait uh, from Bait Daddy's, the great bait. I know y'all hear me say it, you know, and, and let me tell you, they have like the cleanest bait shop restroom that I've ever, ever seen they have tackle and, and, and aerators and fishing rods and rod holders big old surf rods they have a lot of nice things uh check them out today uh or next time that you're out here in galveston the west end or in case you are on your way to Surfside, you can always stop by there they're on the way right over here next to seven seas um i'm gonna wait fish i'm gonna get out i have my voodoo cork i have a kale hook i have about two and a half maybe two foot leader line about two foot a little more than two foot leader line 30 pound yuzuri the water was looking a little sandy um it's not as clean and it's not as calm as uh, i would like it but you know what i'm gonna roll the dice i'm gonna roll the dice anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna check it out i was thinking about going to surfside but you know what i just love galveston i love galveston so i'm gonna fish g town a little bit and then we'll see i might you know as the sun comes up i might see that the water is like real dirty um it shouldn't be should just be a little sandy uh you know time will tell when the sun starts coming up and um i might hit over the surface side i don't know we'll see hopefully not um i'm at my uh mic isn't on here uh so and excuse me for the splashing because you know it's a little wavy so we're gonna get some water on the lens and and the audio is gonna sound a little funky and the wind picked up a little bit so all that stuff i can't help so um gonna have to just deal with it like the way i do sorry guys um but yeah let's get let's let's get fishing thanks for coming back don't forget like comment subscribe share uh, we do have some waves right here you can see the wave action on this side between the first sandbar and the second sandbar is going to be significantly more be versus the second sandbar and the third sandbar i am seeing some bait right on the other side of this third, first sandbar right here <clears throat> Typically, I do like to come in and fish right off the first sandbar. Uh, early in the morning, you have bait that comes in, comes in close. So I'm going to try to fish here for a little bit. I don't know <coughs> how, really how long I'm going to stick around. Just because these little waves are coming in, they're going to make everything really splashy. So let me, let me put this stuff down and let me get a shrimp. And then I'm going to try to cast because between this sandbar and then that next sandbar. And someone asked me the other day, hey, how do you know where the sandbars are? Well, it's typically where the water is going to break is where you, where you see the sandbar. And that's a nice fish right there. But typically where the water breaks is where you're going to see the sand or is, is where the sandbar is. But honestly, all you got to do is walk out. You walk out and when it starts getting deeper, starts getting more shallow you're on the sandbar when it starts getting a little deeper and start coming down you're on the edge of the the, the the edge of the sandbar but let's cast in his bait and let's see if we can get somebody right here again i need to cast over there Ugh. i cast straight out that time but right there twice now let me i'm gonna reel this back in and, and see if i can uh see if i can get this guy oh yep he's blowing up right there again he's chasing something he's chasing something Oh, there he is right here again. There's somebody, somebody's chasing, somebody's running. It, it might just... Oh, that was a trout. Did y'all see that trout come out of water? What? 
That was awesome. Let's see if we can get him. Let's see if we can sight cast the trout. Come on. That's what's up. Y'all see that? That's fun. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. That's a ladyfish. That's a ladyfish, I think. Oh, it might be a trout. He hit it as soon as the freaking, as soon as the, uh, as soon as the line hit the water. I think that's a ladyfish. Oh my God, it's a big one. Yeah, it is a ladyfish. Dang it. They tear up your line. They tear up your line. I don't want to catch a ladyfish. Uh, oh my gosh look at this big old lady fish Woo, she's a big one she's a big one but you know a lot of times where there's a lady where there's a lady fish there's there's trout so i'm not going to show her because i'm in a hurry because i did see that trout come out of water so not really really worried about showing this big girl so much as i just want to get her off real fast and yeah, she's a big girl yeah there she goes right there that's a big one she's about 16 maybe 18 Good. she didn't tear up she didn't tear up my line you got to check your line oh she did i'm gonna have to retie dang it because i know i know that lady fish she was like she bled you know i tried just to let her shake her shake the hook out herself and it tore the inside of her mouth so i just scoot over a little bit so i'm literally like almost like right on top of where where the fish were jumping at so you know and and this the, the water is kind of like a washing machine i'm getting smacked from this way and getting pulled from that way you can see my bait bucket as they're getting pulled across you know we have a uh, a yellow flag warning so that means that you know it's caution it's not a red flag to stay out of the water but it's yellow which means uh you can have a little bit of undertow a little bit of strong current you might have not really a rip tide a rip current but you know it's it's possible so um so i do just play it safe i gotta play it safe today definitely i don't think i'll be hitting the the third sandbar <laughs> unless the bait is unless the the fish are absolutely not here or the first one or the second there we go we're down nope um unless they're absolutely not here at the first and second gut okay, so i just caught another lady fish dang it dang it dang it i don't want the ladies bro might just be a school of lady fish right here might have to slide down just a little bit Let's see. I'm gonna cast a little further. It's gonna seem like they're right here. Let me cast a little further up and see if I can get them off right off this second sandbar. If I get them hanging out right here. Let's see. bunch of mother right there see all the little bubbles bunch of mother there we go that's a trout i think nope somebody had it dang where'd he go he had it good too seemed like he had it really good too there we go that's a trout oh yeah that's a nice one now I'm scared because I didn't retie. <laughs> I really need to go back to my truck and retie. Catch this guy. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? There he goes. Come on. Come on, guy. Uh, nice little trout. Nice little surf trout. He's probably about 17. Maybe 16. Oy. Dang, wave got me. There we go. About 16, 17 maybe. There we go. Another one. Ah, oh, yeah, another speckled trout. This feels about the same size as that other one. Oh no, he's smaller. He's much smaller. Wow. Yeah, this guy's this guy's gonna be a little guy. Then get out of my net, bro. I'm not trying to net you. Oh, he got off. But he was small. He was much smaller, but it's good that they're in the same spot, same area. So I know where to keep casting. <clears throat> but yeah, that guy was about probably about 14, maybe 13. You know, all I simply do, <clears throat> all I simply do is, you know, I have a size two cow hook, and all I simply do is just, just hook the shrimp to the head. 
you know there's not a uh, not a whole lot to it especially if, when the water's clean like this you know you can really get on the you can really get on the the specks out here and if you're not seeing them or, or finding them they just slide further down the sandbar until you do or, or walk out to the second sandbar maybe even have to go to the third we'll see come on let's get another guy right here same spot same spot come on there we go oh, that guy's a little bigger <clears throat> no i think he's about the same size he might be he might be slot kind of coming easy kind of gave up quick little thick guy little thick guy but i think he's gonna be i think he's gonna be a little under he might make it he's probably 15 he's probably 15 just a little thick <clears throat> i'm not gonna keep him he's kind of skinny but yeah he might be 14 15 somewhere right there he's close he's close all right well well i thought this was gonna be like pretty easy let's just walk in and and have all the fish just jump in in our net and and our in our in our cooler <laughs> that's not the case at all you know the water is a little sandy it's not too bad but it's a little sandy so i can barely make out the silhouette of my foot when i'm about waist deep um so it's not that that real pristine clear water i can see it a little further out and on that clean that sandy and cleaner water is uh some Sometimes that's where the specs are kind of hanging out um i got into schoolings this morning like right at sunrise always there's always a good bite at sunrise got it gotten some schoolings and you know i mean it was productive as far as you know um uh, action wise and, and got into a lot of ladyfish but that that's it there's not a lot going on uh anymore i want a second sandbar and nothing nothing at all not even a hit uh so i'm gonna i packed up you know i'm gonna head over to San Luis Pass. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fish Surfside just a little bit. I, I, it's killing me to go see. It's killing me to know what the water is looking like and hopefully the water is going to be a little cleaner over there. Sometimes it is. A lot of times it's it's going to be a little cleaner than uh, than Galveston. That's just that's just the way the cookie crumbles. But um, yeah, so I'm going to head over here. I'm going to head out, drive over San Luis Pass. We got some dudes out here with their drone footage. They kind of like set up like right on top of me. I mean, you got all this beach and they like set up like right on top of me. I, I don't get it, but hey, you know what? Whatever. Um, I ain't tripping. Uh, just a little little annoyed, you know I mean? People like their elbow room. There's nobody else out here. Nobody else out here. One guy way over here on the end, but it's all good. Whatever. They, they, maybe that's their spot. I don't know. I don't have a spot. I don't, I don't have any spots at all. I just go fish. But um, yeah, we're going to get out here. Little loose sand like right in there, but for the most part, the beach is cool. The beach is straight. So if you're looking to come out uh, anytime soon, you know, it gets a little little by the sand dune gets a little thick so if you don't have four wheel drive just a fyi but um look i have it in two wheel and we're just rolling in and rolling out when you hit down the street go over san luis pass and uh hopefully we're gonna find some of these flatties baby not the flatties i'm sorry i always got them on mine hopefully we'll find some of these specklers yeah specklers specklers today not flatties hey what's up guys we are at spot number two for the day over here at surfside water looks about the same and uh it's almost 10 o'clock so typically a lot of times that that trout bite will stop like around 8 30 9 o'clock so i'm really really pushing it to uh to get on the guys i'm really pushing it to get on them um but we are here nevertheless and uh we're gonna we're gonna try to make it work um hopefully i can get a couple more you know i was this morning you know the morning started off i was like oh my gosh it's gonna be a fire this is awesome everything's looking great and now i'm just hoping to uh kind of salvage the morning a little bit right but nothing's wrong with fishing you know and this is part of the game this is what what you got to do sometimes you just got to go and go and you hit a few spots or fishing a few different techniques or you know you got to change it up so i changed it up a location um let's see what we can do
Well guys, that is going to do it for this fishing trip. This beautiful, beautiful coast. You know, I will post pictures sometimes on social media and uh, people will be like, you know what, that's not Galveston. That's not Surfside. You know, the water never gets that clean. It never looks that good. I just laugh at them. I'm like, you know what guys, keep thinking that. Keep thinking that, that way the crowds will stay away. <laughs> Well, today is a wee day, and um, it wasn't quite what I hoped. I didn't get the quantity of fish, and I didn't get the quality of fish that I was hoping to get. But what better way to start the day, whether it's the weekend or a weekday? I mean, the water is clean. I started the day casting beautiful sunrise on the surf, on the beach. You know, I couldn't ask for anything more than that beside some more entertainment for you guys. You know, I, I like to catch fish. Catching fish is fun. I like entertaining you guys. I like to take my fish that I catch. I like to donate it to people. Of course, I, I'll, I'll save some. You know, I, my wife, my son, they love eating fish. I enjoy eating fish as well. You know, just a little bit here and there. Um, you know, but I, I enjoy um, enjoy catching the fish. I, I really do. I enjoy uh, you guys. Um, entertaining you guys and, and, and coming up with some nice big surf trout I mean it, it helps the views it helps the entertainment you know and it's just fun to see but uh, you know they just weren't there they just weren't there for me this morning I think that the first location they were there there's so many ladyfish mixed in and a lot of little schooling uh, schooling specs that uh, that uh, the bigger guys were there um, they just weren't as thick as, as some of the other guys and you know what maybe if i would have went further a little down or maybe i would have started my day on the second sandbar you know the the things um the outcome would have been a little different or maybe if i would have came down here to surf side there's a lot of maybes involved but I ain't, i'm not hating it i'm not hating, hating it my last two couple trips were outstanding this trip was a little a little tough you know hit two spots but i'm not hating it i'm not Waterland sunglasses, check them out. Saltwater sole, check them out. Max straps, check them out as well. Links in the description section of the video. Bait daddies, always clutch, always great bait. You know, help support those that support me. You know, um, I, I by doing this, I meet a lot of great, wonderful people, and uh, I've given I've been given a lot of great opportunity to do a lot of great different things. And uh, yeah, it's just a lot, a lot of fun, and I. I thank each and every one of you for clicking on each and every video. I really mean that. And leaving comments and sharing and, and all that really, really goes far to help support the channel and help the channel grow a little more. And those of you that are Patreons, that you know, my, my hardcore core uh, subscribers, my core viewers, my core supporters, I really appreciate you guys too. Uh, always a, nothing but love out here in the YouTube world. Nothing but love out here catching fish. Nothing but love along the coast, you know, Texas all water fishing. I try to do it as many different ways as I can and, uh, and try to enjoy every single minute of it. But thanks guys. Hopefully next time you catch me looking up.